we welcome our viewers around the world to our educational channel. Africa is standing at the edge of another turning point in human history. The artificial intelligence revolution, the greatest technological shift since the invention of the personal computer, is transforming every aspect of life. But once again, Nigeria risks being left behind. Just like it missed the personal computer revolution 50 years ago. This video explains how history is repeating itself and why Nigeria must act now. My fellow Africans, wake up. Please, subscribe, like and share. Before we continue, one important note, while this video focuses on Nigeria because it is the most populous black nation in the world. These issues apply to all African countries. The same challenges. The same lack of STEM investment. The same risks of missing the AI revolution. Africa must rise together or be left behind together. After all, no child should be left behind. The learning objectives are on your screen. In this video, you will learn how Nigeria and the rest of Africa miss the first major technology revolution and how the same mistake is repeating today with artificial intelligence. We will explore why STEM education matters, what's at stake if African nations continue to ignore technological development, and the key steps needed to prepare our youth for an AI-powered future. The goal is simple, understand where we went wrong and what must change now. Let's go back to the dawn of personal computing in 1975. In the United States and Europe, children were being introduced to computers early. They learned BASIC. They learned PASCAL. They learned how to code in their early teenage years. This revolution created an entire generation of innovators who built trillion-dollar companies. This early exposure created Bill Gates, then 19 years old, and Paul Allen, 20 years old, who formed Microsoft in 1975. Apple Incorporated was founded in 1976 by Steve Jobs, who was 21 years old, and Steve Wozniak, who was 26 years old at the time. Ronald Wayne, the third co founder, was 41 years old when the company was established. Now let's look at Nigeria during that same period. Instead of teaching children about computers, programming, or electronics, Nigeria gave its students cutlasses, hoes, and farm tools. Agricultural implements during the computer revolution. While the West was advancing its civilization, in Nigeria, the government only thought of its children the future of the country in terms of manual work akin to slave labor. While the world embraced digital literacy, logic, and coding, Nigeria embraced manual labor. This single decision created a 50-year gap. Our leaders ignored the warning signs as the education and technology divide widened. It became a gap Nigeria has never recovered from. We missed the computer revolution. We missed the software revolution. We missed the coding revolution. And we missed the early internet boom. Fast forward to today. A new revolution is here, the AI revolution. Artificial intelligence now writes code. It analyzes medical images. It monitors farms. It predicts diseases. It powers national security and it drives the most advanced economies in the world. AI is the new electricity, the new engine of wealth, the new foundation of global power. Countries that master AI will dominate the 21st century and beyond. Countries that ignore AI will fall behind permanently. My fellow Africans, wake up. But where is Nigeria in this historic moment? Sadly, we are repeating the same mistake we made 50 years ago. Instead of prioritizing STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine, 
innovation is decreasing. Scientific investment is decreasing. Schools lack computers. Teachers lack training. Students lack exposure. Children in the West, China, India, and the Middle East are learning AI, robotics, and coding. Children in Nigeria are not even getting basic computer skills. The country is not preparing its youth for the future. Just as it didn't prepare them in 1975. Nigeria missed the computer revolution. Today, Nigeria is missing the AI revolution. And history does not give many second chances. If Nigeria continues on this path, the consequences will be severe. AI will eliminate low skilled jobs worldwide. Countries without digital skills will face mass unemployment. AI will create enormous wealth. Countries not participating will remain poor. AI will accelerate healthcare, education, agriculture, and transportation. Countries without AI will fall further behind. This is not just about technology. It is about national survival, economic survival, educational survival, health survival, and Nigeria's place in the world. Nigeria can still catch up if it moves now. Here are the steps. Number one. Make STEM the national priority. Above politics. Number two. Introduce coding and digital literacy in all primary and secondary schools. Number three. Build national AI research centers across the country. Number four. Train teachers in modern digital skills. Number five. Fund science, research, and innovation, not unnecessary political appointments. Number six. Partner with private companies to grow the tech ecosystem. Nigeria has the talent. Nigeria has the youth. Nigeria has the population. But Nigeria must have the right priorities. Fifty years ago, Nigeria gave its children cutlasses while the world gave its children computers. Today, the world is giving its children artificial intelligence. Nigeria is giving its children distractions. We cannot afford to repeat history. The future belongs to nations that invest in STEM. Nigeria must choose science. Nigeria must choose technology. Nigeria must choose the future, now. The learning objectives have been met. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you found this presentation informative and educational, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing with family members, friends, and colleagues. Your support helps us create more informative and educational content. Until next time, stay strong, stay hopeful. This has been a presentation of Opomularo Media LLC.